Hi, thank you for joining me today. I'm Sandra at Arty Cardair and I've got this cute little easy stick purse today. You're going to love it. It opens with a, a magnetic closure. It also opens at the bottom. So you can close it if you want and stick that down with glue dots. But it's very, very easy to put your treats or your gift, whatever you want to put in it. And it closes like that. Um, and the reason I've done it like this is due to the fact that it will fold flat to go into any 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 drawer or cupboard if you want to make a few, have them in in your cupboards for when you want to give gifts to ladies. Who doesn't love a lovely little handbag or a purse? I know I do. So we're going to get started on that project today. Close that up. We're going to get started on that and I'll show you how I made it. So today I'm using Whisper White and I've got the thick A4 card stock because I think it's, it makes better boxes sturdier, the thick, the thick A4. And it measures 11 and a half inches by 7 and 3 quarters, which is 29.3 centimetres by 19.8. We're going to score it on the long side at one and a quarter at five and a half at six and three quarters and at eleven. And then keeping the card stock still in there we are now going to part score so we are going to part score down to about four and a half inches and we are going to part score at five eighths of an inch so you put your marker in at five eighths and you keep your finger at the four and a half mark and that way you'll know move your finger along to this point here and we are going to score that part way down at six and one eight then we are going to turn it round that way so that you've got those part scores lines on the right hand side and we are going to score it on the short side at half an inch one and three quarters inches, five and a half inches, and five and seven eighths. So let me make sure I've got that right. Five and seven eighths, like that. So that is 1.2, 4.5, 14 and 15. And on this side, it was 3.2, 14, 17.8 7 and 28 centimetres. So that's the scoring done. We can get the, put, put the board away. Now before I start to burnish it and fold it, I've made this little template up so that you can see where you need to score and cut. So where you've got your two thin lines together there, that is how you're going to cut it. This is a slightly smaller version, but it's the same principle. So what I'm going to do with my pen, just so I don't get confused myself, we need to get rid of that one there, down to the second score line. We are going to get rid of this piece here, down to the second score line. And then we are going to get rid of this piece here, this piece here. And then we are going to get rid of all of this here as well. So I will put all the details of all the cutting on my blog 
just in case that's not totally clear. But we're going to burnish our lines now and then do the cutting and I will show you what it looks like when we've done the cutting. It is an easy box to, to make and yes there is a bit to cut off but once you've made it, so we don't burnish those little edges. You don't burnish those little part scores. Right then, so facing that way. I need to have it that way or I'll get confused myself. Right, so we start off, we're getting rid of this skinny bit here. And then we're cutting up and cutting in as we would normally for a box. Cutting in here and cutting up here. And then we're just chopping that edge off there and then slightly cutting in as before. And now we can get rid of the whole of this chunk. We don't need that. And this part here we don't need. don't need any of this here. And of course you can save those bits and use the other sides. Get rid of that. So now you will see that we are left <coughs> with that look. See that? So now we need to get our corner round a punch on this little skinny edge here just to make some nice rounded corners so that we can put our box in. And then on this flap here, this is the front flap, this is this front flap. On this front flap, I have used this decorative border punch. You've got you've got three different board well you've got three different things that this does. It called, cuts a decorative border, which is this. It cuts those little bumps and it also cuts for a little ribbon slide so you can make a hole in something and thread your ribbon through. Very useful. So I'm putting this in and because this punch is down it makes quite a noise and then I've turned it over to the other side and punch down there and that's my little decorative edge. So then I've got my two pieces of Hard to put on the front here so what I'm going to do with that is like I've done like I've done on this part here I'm going to put that in there to get those two bumps there turn that round the opposite way so that my bumps face the same way when I bring it round to the front like that and then that fits on there nicely So while we're about it, we can stick that onto there with some views. And then 
we're going to do mountain and valley folds on these little part score lines. So where that went out, that's going to go down, part way down, that's your mountain and valley fold. And you do the same on this side, fold it in that way, just part down, don't use the scoring tool, it's not necessary on that. And then working out, I think working out, this is the front, this will be the front, so I'm now going to stick this onto the front here. So now we run a piece of fast fuse down here. And bring that back down on itself like that. And that is all you need to do to stick that together. They, they just fold in like that. And that's your box done. Pinch that in and you can see that you've got your box done. So now we just need to do that, the, the little magnetic closure. So I've got my magnets here. These are the 8mm by 0.5mm spider, spider magnets, I think they're called. And they are very strong. They just want to stick to each other, flip all over the place. So I've got two, I think I've got two there. Yes, I've got two there. So using your glue dots, Stick the glue dot to that side and position that just there. A glue dot on the other side of the magnet like that. Whoops. And then pinch that down making sure you get that in the right place with that top fold of the purse needs to come over square on. like that and flip that down and in order to take some of the strength out of the magnet we need and to cover it to make it look neater we're going to get a piece of our card that we just used and we're just going to punch a little hole in that and then I've got a piece of the same coloured DSP and I'm just going to see if I can punch a hole out in just the black. Like that. And then a glue dot on there. And put, position that on there and a glue dot on the other one and position that over there and then that folds together down on itself so now all we need to do is that cute little embellishment that I've used there which I think just finishes that off perfectly so I've got one of these metal rimmed pearls metal rimmed pearls and I, I've used the bigger one the bigger ones there's three different sizes I've just used the big one and flip the back off peel the back off stick it on there and you just position that into the middle where you think it looks the cutest I think about there and that is that made very easy fill with any treats of your choice so that is my project today. I hope you enjoyed it. If I can help you with anything, let me know. And until the next time, bye.